It is Friday night with Jake and uh, got a couple of topics I want to hit on today. Um, just currently pulling up YouTube on the laptop so I can properly uh, correspond with you guys here. Let's see here. Now the thumbnail picture, if you saw it, was my son Isaac. Um, my children love their reef knives prototypes, little savages. So, uh, he sleeps with that quite often. How are you doing, Rick? Um, so, um, the title of today's video is Don't Squander Your Gifts, but I also want to talk a little bit about Biden uh, something that was brought up that just made me think about some current events here. Um, and uh, there's a third thing. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to talk about pricing on Beach and Tactical, and we'll talk about Exodus Knife and Tool as well. So, to get right into it, uh, by embarrassing myself, I like to start that way. Uh, I ran 2.2 miles today. It was 90 degrees. And... Uh, What's up, Brandon? Uh, very steep. A uh, lot, you know, a lot of hill. Um, regardless, it was the heaviest that I've ever felt, and I'm not at my heaviest currently. Uh, it took me almost 40 minutes because I had to stop at the peak of each hill before going to the next one in the shade a little bit and take a breather, dying. And so I broke my leg years ago now, like two years ago, I still don't have full mobility and it's my right leg. So the whole right side of my body from, from my foot all the way up to the base of my neck is always a little bit jacked up and stiff. However, there's really no excuse for me to perform so poorly um, for my cardio because I'm naturally a gifted runner. There's also no excuse for me to be fat. So I was going to do a video about like just not being fat. Um, I'm also working on my diet right now, which is a first for me. For the past, you know, 30 years, every single meal I have eaten as much as I can. What's up, Apache? And so cutting calories is difficult for me. And if you're interested in diet, the reality of weight loss or gain is calories and calories out and what kind of the quality of the calories and how you use them or don't use them could lead to whether you build or lose muscle or fat. But at the end of the day, it's still calories in, calories out. So if you're fat, you're fat because you eat too much. It is what it is. However, that doesn't matter for a lot of you guys. And a lot of you guys, your gift might not be running and athleticism like it should be for me. And I, and the ones squandering that by not running often enough. And uh, as far as using, <laughs> as far as using your gifts, my buddy Justin Vidito just started his survival school. I'm not sure if he'll be moving firearms into his curriculum as well. What's up, JD? But um, he's over in West Virginia, and he's a guy that you want to train with straight up. So I'll be getting over there when I can. Um, he's living the dream, but I believe he's also uh, using his talents. And it was uh, a shame for him to not be training and not be teaching people. So don't squander your gifts, whatever they are. Um, the next thing I want to talk about, uh, JD actually knows about this, was an article where a guy talked about the media turning on Biden um, because they are not covering up what an absolute freaking bumbling geriatric he is as much. And so I just mostly wanted to talk about this um, kind of to give a generalized opinion on this, but the way that the media is a propaganda arm of the government. 
or more accurately, a propaganda arm of the people who run the government, which is not the government. So you would think that nobody would watch the news anymore, but they still do. The news is making money hand over fist, just like they always have. The news is controlling the narrative just like they always have. If it means that they have to swing at one side or the other, it doesn't matter whatever they have to do to bring the masses in. So this isn't about um, Republicans versus Democrats with the media. You can't think of this as really as two different teams. That's the whole nations and kings things versus powers and principalities. What we're looking at is uh, the elite, the uh, whatever you want to call them, uh, the people who are pulling the strings, the doggone puppet masters, can just continuing to sp spin the narrative however they need to, to keep people watching the news and to keep people guessing. A lot of times, by talking crap about Biden or Trump, you entrench their supporters. So you can actually strengthen Biden's position by talking smack about him as a media outlet. And so there's, there's a lot of psychology behind this, believe it or not, in how you run these psyops and how you control the narrative, but it's more complicated than the average guy would think. And it is a tried, true, and perfected way to play you like a fiddle. It's what they know how to do. They've known how to do it for a really long time, but I think it was the 50s, 60s, and 70s when they really started um, doing studies and, um, and tests and they really got the psychology dialed in on how to manipulate and control people. So um, it's funny that we get to make fun of Biden on the news. If you watch the news, we're getting more clips of him being a retard, and that's great. But uh, and by, don't give him don't give him the credit of being a geriatric, by the way. Or now that he's old, he's lost his mind. He's always been a moron. He's always been worthless. He's just always, he's always been a puppet. So his intelligence or lack thereof doesn't matter. But it's not like, um, oh, poor Biden, he's stupid now. No, uh, he's always been stupid. So, um, but it's not because the media is switching sides or seeing the light or anything else. The media is playing stories that are going to make them money, but they are also continuing with the narrative. And they can use Republicans, uh, the whole NWO deal, the guys pulling these strings. There are a lot of things that have to happen before tribulation, antichrist, one world government, all of those things that are coming together. And a lot of the things that they have to check off here uh, a lot of them look red and a lot of them look blue. And so they have a lot of things on the agenda, what's up Papa Bear Knives, that they need Republicans to knock out before they're ready to flip the switch. And they've got a lot more things for the Democrats that they need to knock out before they flip the switch. So whether the media is talking about the, bad about the Democrats or the Republicans doesn't matter. They can play both sides and still push the same agenda. The problem is they're looking at a compli complicated, huge plan, and they know what they're doing. And we're over here, and we, we don't see even the smallest piece of the picture, especially the average person doesn't see any of the picture. So it's hard for us to see what their next move is or what their intention is when we don't have the entire game laid out in front of us like they do. You know, they can look at it and be like, oh, we made fun of Biden. We're working against Biden to push this agenda today because we need this piece to fall down here. And this is going to lead to this. And we'll have to have some Republicans do this. And they've got all that. And, you know, if you, ha if you knew a little more about that, it would all be simple. 
right? But you don't have any piece of the picture. All you see is what they want you to see, and what they want you to see is them uh, controlling the narrative to make you think what they want you to think. Um, so I, I can't believe that the media is turning on Biden, and it really doesn't matter. And Biden doesn't matter, and Kamala doesn't matter, and Hillary Clinton doesn't matter, and Donald Trump doesn't matter. Uh, they want us to think they matter, and the more that we think the ma they matter, the easier it is to separate us uh, and just continue their agenda. But they're all working for the same people, and they'll all be replaced by someone else. They're all replaceable. They're all equally replaceable as you and I. It's easy. They've already got people lined up for it. No question. So um, don't get too wrapped up in trying to defeat one person or mock one person or, oh, the media is on our side now, this, that, and everything. It's all, uh, it's all a game. So um, the next thing I want to talk about is pricing. So a good friend of mine just ordered... I shouldn't say a good friend of mine. It's a nice thing to say, but I think we say a good friend of mine or a friend of mine too often. An associate of mine who has always treated me fairly just ordered a very large order of slings. And I was kind of crunching the numbers and looking what I needed to do, and I really couldn't give them that much of a discount. I lowered my prices um, this year, I think. Not a good time to lower my prices. Everything's more expensive. And you got to realize that not only is everything more expensive for me to purchase for materials, but everything is more expensive for me to purchase in my life, just like it is for you. So um, I used to have, you know, a Beach and Tactical Speed Sling used to be 75 bucks. And at that price range, I had flexibility for wholesale and for um, you know um, bigger discounts for larger orders and this and that and the other thing. And I could actually wholesale to somebody else and they could resell. And there are people out there reselling my slings for less than I sell them for, even though that's kind of rude, and they're still making money. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I dropped the prices because I make more money selling myself and I needed to sell more slings. It's not really how it works. It's not a good idea to ever drop your prices, but especially not when I did. So I'm thinking January 1st, those will have to be bumped up. But to go along with that, I do have more camouflage patterns and I will also have a third tier of product coming pretty soon because right now you have solid webbing or camo webbing and camel webbing is five dollars extra. Um, we will soon have a third tier of premium camel webbing and I believe it will include sometimes will be special edition camouflages. Um, um, yeah Brandon said friends don't ask friends for discounts. If one's offered it's appreciated but never asked for. So you know this guy didn't ask me uh, for any discount whatsoever. Um, but I wanted to give him one. He ordered 25 slings. And so, um, you know, I gave him about a 10% discount. In the past, that would have qualified for a wholesale order, and I would have done probably a 40% discount because if you're ordering that many slings, it keeps me busy real quick, and I can just keep working and keep making money and then you can resell them and make some money. Um, anyways, but if I had sold them to him at 40% off of MSRP, it would have still been the same price as what I ended, eventually had to sell him them to him for. And I don't like that. Uh, well, I just don't like that. I wasn't able to offer him much less than a normal price, about 10% off. Anyways, so that will be bumping up. Um, yeah, Papa Bear said he needs to order a couple before January. Um, yeah, 
I'd expect probably a $10 price hike. But anyways, these premium webbings, some of them will be uh, limited edition. Like currently, I'll be doing another limited edition run of uh, Finish M05 uh, camo webbing. It was very sick. They all sold out the first weekend. They were available um, in the first batch. Very cool. Bought them from Finland. Bought the webbing from Finland, you know. Um, I think Desert Night Camel is coming. Woodland's coming. Alpenflage is coming. Um, the Alpenflage, I probably actually shouldn't have even mentioned, but I think the cat's already out of the bag a little bit. It's going to be down the road a little bit, but it's going to be another $5. So the premium camouflage patterns are going to be an additional $5 on top of normal camouflage. And then I'll probably try to do runs of different nationalities camouflages. Um, yeah, the Desert Night Camo is going to be fun. It's going to be, it's going to be very cool. Um, Exodus Knife and Tool. Okay, I was going to go to Michigan to talk to the guys this weekend. Um, I did not. I forgot to remind them to get me an updated um, ETA on the pre-order. Uh, I'm going to send them a message today. I'm hoping that they get it, get the message before Monday. But regardless, uh, very soon, uh, I'm going to have a little bit of information on that. I think that we, I think the knives are in process. Uh, anything can happen in the current climate. So any, any, we can have a breakdown at any step of the finishing process, but I'm really hoping that we're going to be making some good progress on those and I really need to sell more knives. Um, and with that pre-order, Papa Bear, yeah, with that pre-order, I'm hoping to have maybe another 50 or so. Um, and then I'm hoping with the next batch, we'll have a new model and I really need, uh, what's up, uh, Jeremiah? Uh, with the next batch, I'm really hoping to have a new model and like 150 or more knives. We'll just have to see. Um, so, what's up with you guys? Uh, we're 17 minutes in. You know, we can talk for about another 13. Uh, if you guys want to talk about Black Rifle, my experience with Grunt Style, my opinions on Nine Line, all of those things have been very popular. Um, um, yeah, package tomorrow. Crazy stoked about it. Um, Dylan said he just got an SCCR 2.5. It's great from what he can tell. The SCCR 2.5 is one of my Hall of Fame knives. I need to do a Hall of Fame video on it. There's a few products that I've been using for so long that I depend on a lot that need to be entered in the Hall of Fame. I think only the Hunglis 2 so far is in the Hall of Fame. It's an absolutely phenomenal little fixed blade. Um, I want to talk about, uh, let's see. Okay, so um, someone asked about, uh, I have not heard of NGT 433. If you elaborate, I might have, but off the top of my head, no. So someone asked about my opinion on alcohol. And um, I've never been drunk, so... Uh, you know, quite simply, uh, scripturally, if you don't get drunk, uh, there's not a problem. And if you have a problem where you can't be around alcohol without getting drunk, then stay away from it entirely. For the most part, I stay away from it entirely. I don't mind sharing a drink with, uh, friends on occasion. Um, but, uh, uh, in Psalms, it says that wine is God's gift uh, to man. So, you know, you can't tell me that it's wrong to touch God's gift to man. We're not talking about uh, grape juice um, here. But, uh, you know, don't be a fool. I mean, it's... it's it, I say that flippantly because for me, it's obvious. For someone who asks, it's not so obvious. Um, if you can't handle not getting drunk, you know, if you're getting yourself in trouble, I was in the army. Everybody's in trouble. One dude sold a, uh, stole a sergeant major's car and did donuts in the freaking squadron field, you know. 
And, and if you're doing stupid stuff when you get drunk, it's probably because you want to do stupid stuff anyways. So let's just, you know, it is what it is. All right, so um, JD asked if I'm ever going to bring back the character from when we were competing against Junkyard Fox. So I was actually, I'm talking to Zach Shero right now about our next adventure, and I don't know if he's going to want to go into all of that. He'd probably be willing to if I asked him to. Um, what was the what was my name for that? It was so gay. <laughs> And uh, the wife didn't appreciate that I smoked multiple cigars for that character, but maybe we do need to bring that back. I don't know. Um, you know, I don't know if if doing all of that is funny or just cringy, or it's funny because it's cringy, but it was fun. It's goofy. It was fun. Um, uh, as Papa Bear said, he hasn't had a sip of alcohol in six or seven years and quit nicotine four years ago. So I'm actually in the process of quitting caffeine. And that sounds stupid to everybody who has problems with alcohol or nicotine. But, you know, I would say for a little bit over 10 years, I'd say on average, I have about a thousand milligrams of caffeine a day. And, you know, sometimes as little as 700, sometimes as much as probably 1500 or 2000, sometimes at some points in my life. But, uh, the fact that I need it, and especially I need it before I do something, or I feel like I need it before I go and do something, irritates me. Um, and so, and you need more and more and more and more and more of it. And it's freaking expensive trying to cut that habit and trying to cut the overeating habit as well. I've been eating, I don't know if you guys have been watching on Instagram, I've been mostly eating like tomatoes and sardines and eggs for lunch, and I've been eating a much smaller breakfast. Um, so I uh, I was, you know, talking about not squandering your gifts. Uh, not only do am I athletic, but I have the potential to have a good physique, and a good physique would help me sell product and help me advertise other people's product that I want to advertise because they're a good product. That's part of my job. So if I'm not doing that, I'm, I'm squandering my gift. So, um, you know, I, I need to gun bunny it up a little bit. Speaking of gun bunny, uh, if you do follow me on Instagram, let me know what you think about my thought about my uh, OnlyFans joke the other day. I don't know if that was too cringy or if it was a a good laugh, but I think most people got it. I thought it was pretty funny. Um, okay, so MG433 apparently is a rural training program for military police who ever to quarantine people in the country. I have not heard of that. I'm not surprised. Um, Laid off energy drinks two years ago. Um, yeah, I've laid off energy drinks. I'm still drinking two cups of coffee a day, and I do plan on bumping that down. But seriously, two cups of coffee is like nothing compared to what I was having. And um, um, I have had some side effects from that, but uh, I'm going to continue dropping down. My dad said he's cut down on this ice cream about 5%. So uh, keep it up. Um, <laughs> New Tropics, I've heard of that. I'll have to look more into it. But I really want to function throughout the day with nothing but water and good food. Um, Jeremiah, uh, I want to go to West Virginia for training. <sighs> I really owe it to, I really need to do it this fall, but I, I'm planning so much stuff and I've been gone almost every weekend for a while. Um, and, uh, but I need to get out there and see Justin anyways, 100%. 
Um, favorite energy drink? Um, I like rain jalapeno strawberry, bang pina colada, uh, key lime, and uh, there's one other. But most things without calories taste like butt to me. So there's very few things that are no calories that I like. And uh, so most of the bangs and rains I absolutely hate. But once you start drinking them, it's hard to stop, uh, in my opinion, or for me at least. So I haven't done one in quite a while. Brandon said we should start an app called Only Ammo. Payments only allowed in ammo. I could sell pictures of my feet for ammo. You know, send me some three weight, some five, five, six, some 22, some nine millimeter. Send you pictures of my feet. Maybe I'll send pictures of me picking things up with my feet. Um, I don't know. We could get weird with it. The assault ram. So uh, Patton is doing fantastic. He's the sweetest goat, seriously. Um, I, uh, I really wish he didn't piss on his face and have any other animal that he can catch piss on his face. Uh, it would be a little bit easier to uh, return his affection if he wasn't covered in piss and completely stained from head to toe in piss and urine. But, um, but man, he's such a good goat, seriously. Uh, so this fall, one thing I'm going to do is I need to do like three acres of fencing, which might not sound like a big deal, but it's going to be through gullies and ditches and thick brambles and thick woods. And it's going to take a lot of doing. Uh, and I need to drop three trees in my front yard fairly quickly as well. So um, I'm making a lot of plans for this fall. Um, there'll be a fall harvest party at my place uh, the first weekend of November. Uh, everybody's welcome to come to that. Jeremiah, I'll definitely hit you up on that, but uh, it's not really a big deal. You know, mostly I cook outside, we throw axes, I have people over, I'll set up some camping areas around the property. Um, not gonna be any alcohol there. Uh, I mean, someone could bring a little bit of alcohol if they wanted. I don't really care. I'm not going to supply any. But uh, this isn't the kind of event where you drink, at least not drink a lot. But um, really kind of just a wholesome deal. Uh, and uh, it kind of started out with me being like, what the crap is the freaking point of Halloween? Uh, I don't, I'm not really big into celebrating holidays that, I don't understand or agree with the origins of, and for me, a holiday has to be Christ-based. So, uh, so we started doing a fall harvest party, and uh, quite a few people usually come. It's always a good time. Uh, I'd like to have more events there and get more set up. Uh, so we'll just have to see. Maybe we'll do a little shooting gallery. Maybe we'll do some children's shooting. I want to do some archery. Um, but uh, we're just going to rely heavily on parents to help watch different things if I've got multiple things going on because I can't be responsible for multiple different events going on at the same time with children and everything else. And so uh, we'll have to see how that goes. So uh, Old Iron said he was recently married aware of a CO2 salt gun for flies. So we have these bug assaults and they're pretty fun. You pump it and you shoot a fly with salt. But if I could have a semi-auto or even full auto, just full on salt spraying gun, that would, that would be superior. I'd also like some more velocity. I'd like a tight group and like a freaking laser beam. Gotta be careful with that though, because uh, Benjamin actually, a while back, little tiny Benjamin, got our bug assault turned the safety off, walked up to Mariah, <clears throat> blasted her right in the face with salt. Uh, 
it's amazing uh, the things that we are pre-programmed to do. There's no freaking dresses or Barbie or other bull crap. He straight up wants to... Never seen me with knives ever. And I hand him a 3D knife and uh, he goes and he starts chopping wood and practicing stabbing with it. I'm like, if he freaking gets it. So, and same with the uh, bug assault. I don't know how he figured it out. I don't know how he pulled the trigger, to be honest with you. I don't know how he aimed it. I don't know if he was aiming directly at Mariah's face. I don't know, but it was impressive. Might be good for murder hornets too. Uh, we actually have cicada killers around here and I don't kill them anymore, but they look like... Uh, yellow jackets and they can get up to about like this big like a good portion of my pinky freaking huge they look a lot like the murder hornets but they're actually incredibly incredibly docile and also anything that kills cicadas is my friend so i don't kill them anymore uh that's gonna be it for tonight guys getting a little bit late we're about 30 minutes here but uh if you guys have any questions, uh, you can always leave it in the comment section later. If you have um, ideas for another live show or topics that you would like discussed, you can leave them also you know, in the comments. Also, if you hop on to my uh, Patreon, uh, you guys can leave comments there as well, and I will certainly try to uh, do whatever is requested on Patreon. Um, and I'm going to try and do Patreon right because um, I've had a lot of supporters and patrons for a long time and I don't understand freaking Patreon. So I haven't done a good enough job on that. Um, research what I posted if you don't care. Maybe do a short five minute video on my thoughts. Um, I'll try and do that. If you don't mind, rave and rave. Uh, leave me a comment when the new video uploads because I can't see, I think it was MT433, but I can't see it now. And uh, when I quit this video, all of these comments will go away. Uh, but when it's rendered and re-uploaded as a regular video, then you can comment it on there. That'd make it easy for me to see. Uh, have a great night, guys, and a great weekend. MGT433, I will look into it. It just sounds like another one of these... There's there's a lot of things like this, but I'll I'll check it out. I'm sure it'll just piss me off, but uh, I'll talk to y'all talk to y'all soon. Have a good night.